In iNoise, you can use several uh, file formats as background map. For instance, cat files, dwg and dxf. Mostly the coordinates of these files are not in meters, but when you select a cat file as a background map, you can supply a scaling factor. So you can correct, for instance, millimeters uh, to meters, if, if needed. G GIS files, shape map info files. Mostly the coordinates of these files are already in meters. Uh, GIS files that are not in meters cannot be used as a background map in iNoise. So you first need to modify these files um, outside iNoise uh, in a GIS editor. Then iNoise supports uh, scaled bitmap files with a world file, for instance a GPG file with a GGW file or a TIFF file with a TFW file or BMP with VPW file and iNoise automatically recognized, uh, recognizes this world file and shows the bitmap uh, using the scaling information in the world file. Then we have unscaled bitmap files, so GPG, TIFF, BMP, PNG without a, a scaling file such as a world file. And these files can be scaled quickly and easily in iNoise. Uh, see the next video. This video shows you how to calibrate a bitmap file in iNoise. Select the bitmap file with the View Background Map option. In the View Background Map option you can select several types of files or web map services or web map tiled services as a background map. So you could have multiple background maps. In this case we're going to use the Add File option. Here you can select several types of files. Bitmap, GPG, TIFF, Shape, MIF, DXF, DWG files. In this case we're going to use the example dot gpg file. Click on the open button and it's added to the list of background maps. Click on the close and you see the background map shown in the model view. This background map, this gpg file, has now taken the coordinates from the model view. So they are in fact a bit random. It was just the part of the model I was looking at. Also if I use the measure distance option to see what is the scaling information used at the moment between the middle of this ship to the corner of this house, it's 1404 meters according to the current scaling in iNoise. Well this is not correct because if I switch to Google Earth and I do the same uh, uh, measuring of distance with for instance the tools ruler, then you can do the same distance in the middle of this ship to the corner of this building and in Google Earth we see it's 355.95 meters. So we assume that this is the correct length. Now we switch back to iNoise. We go to the View Background Map option again. We select the bitmap file and now we're going to use the Calibrate option to calibrate this GPG file. Click on the Calibrate option and here you can do a similar uh, uh, thing. Click on the middle of the ship, click on the middle on the corner of this building and then key in the distance. Now I switch back to Google Earth to see 355.95. Yep, so 355.95. Oh. Say OK, say OK, and now we have changed the scaling information in iNoise. I close. If I now do the view measure distance between the middle of this ship to the corner of this building, we see that it's 355 meters. So now we have correctly scaled the bitmap. If you also want to store the scaling information, you go to the View Background Map option. You can also now do a Save Settings. So the scaling information that we have just uh, uh, created can also be saved in a scaling file. And that means that there is an additional TXT file added to the GPG file, which iNoise will recognize. So now you can use this example.gpg in combination with the example.txt file in any model of iNoise and it will always be a correct skill. This concludes my video. Thank you for your attention.